An eye doctor can put a few drops of the fluorescein in your eye and use a black light to inspect to find that foreign object. This is fluorescein, which is, as a solid, an orange powder, and it's an organic dye. And it's unique because even though it's orange as a powder, watch what happens when I put this fluorescein in water. Ready? Factor Fiction Summer Edition because old wives' tales don't take a vacation when the weather heats up. Our Jam Fan Fact Checking Squad putting some of the big summer myths to the test. Our next one is about jellyfish. Um, these are beautiful. Take a look at this Friends episode, the one with the jellyfish. Monica got sung, Joey had a remedy. Take a look. Well, there's really only one thing you can do. What? What is it? You're gonna have to pee on it. <laughs> Don't blame me. I saw it on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> All right. Fact or fiction? Peeing on a jellyfish thing will stop the... Okay. All right. So here's the deal. I'm really... I'm majority say fact. I grew up in Texas. We used to vacation in Padre Island. I'm hoping this is true because so many people I know have been treated with urine. Oh. So, Dr. Lee, you explain what happens when you get stung. I should have done it when I got stung, yeah. when I was a little, no. Um, so, jellyfish have tentacles filled with stingers packed with venom. And when it hits your skin, what's happening here, it's causing inflammation, tissue damage, leading to that pain, redness, swelling. Yeah. And then our skin's immune system is kicking in, trying to get rid of that toxin, but adding more discomfort. We have some pictures of jellyfish stings, in case you've never mm -hmm. seen what it looks like. It's pretty. Look, oh my gosh, that one over there is terrible. All right, so Kim, you looked into people saying urine helps. What did you find? Well, I'm going to have to say it is fiction. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is it's very much based on that pH. Urine has a low pH, but it actually can make it worse because there's a lot of water in urine, which then well, as you know, will generate more. So uh, if it makes it worse, why do so many people believe it's help when they get stung? I think it's just one of those things that just, you know, has been around. I think the yeah. Discovery Channel did an episode one time with some, you know, survivalist, and okay. that sort of went viral. And that because my whole life, happen. I've heard that treating yeah. it with urine. Okay, so you say what's better to do? So there is there is a remedy that is still now being studied by science. So it's not fully understood but it is using vinegar. And this works on, they do find this works on some jellyfish. Okay. And I'm gonna have you do a little demonstration oh, to boy. perhaps explain maybe why. Okay, so Again, this the is, science is still exploring So this, this. represents the protein so, or whatever. Oh, you're so, uh, we got it. You, oh. you absolutely got it. So I love that, I love this, it's excellent, excellent. Yes, uh, you are on top of it. Okay. Yes, for sure. So this is milk, which uh -huh. contains a lot of protein. All uh right. -huh. In Jelly, jellyfish's venom, there's a lot of protein. Okay. You're going to add vinegar to this milk okay. containing the protein, and let's just see what happens. And okay. go ahead and, and mix it, mix it. You get to be the explorer. So um, mix it together, and then like kind of like scoop up anything that you're feeling. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of mix it a little bit more. A little, sometimes chemistry to do a chemical reaction, which the vinegar is doing with the milk, okay. it takes a little bit of time. But if you look at the spoon, okay, um, but we would let this sit for a little bit, but when you look at the spoon, you can see yeah. these little specks. Yeah. Okay, this is denaturing the proteins in the milk. And that's what's happening when you're putting vinegar onto that venom because venom contains the okay, proteins. Okay, so, so if you get stung by a jellyfish and you happen to have vinegar in the car <laughs> on vacation, or you put the vinegar on? As, or you're having, like, your, your grandma's pickling. You just go grab her vinegar. <laughs> you run down to the beach and, like, I got you, I got you. And then, you know, and you can add, too, what else is another yeah. helpful? So soaking in hot water can be helpful. Similar idea, the hot water can be soothing, but also helps to denature 
the protein in okay. the toxin. I just feel like you have left me in pain on the beach. <laughs> but in oh, truth, a lot of beaches be. have uh, actual uh, centers that you can go in and run and actually get remedies for them. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Medical attention, number one. Okay. Absolutely. All right, so there we go. All yes. right, next up on the list, uh, the most dangerous animal in the world by the CDC is not a shark. It is not a bear. Here's a hint. It's a mosquito. That's according to CDC. Okay. All right. So, fact or fiction, mosquitoes are drawn to some people over others. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, here's the deal. This topic is very deeply personal for me because my son has a mosquito allergy. And a mosquito can find him anywhere in the world. We have had mosquitoes get in our car and roll down the window and follow us. So I'm going to stand on business and say this is a fact. Dr. Cottle is here. You also have yeah. what they refer to, and if you Google it, the term sweet meat is a real thing that they say some people have. Yeah, I must have a lot of it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I get bitten up and I get eaten up by mosquitoes and it's 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 really, really bad. Yeah. So are you asking if there is such a thing as sweet yeah. meat? There is to some degree, meaning Doctor, it's... you're always waffling around I know, here. Okay. I mean, man. So let, okay, let me not waffle. This is not fact or fiction or it, in the middle. It is a fact that, yes, mosquitoes like some people. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Thank you. It is Thank a fact. You. Thank you. Yes, yes. So one of the things that makes mosquitoes like us, is it sweet blood? Because a lot of people say they say yeah. sweet blood. Yeah. There have been some studies that have said type O blood may contribute, right. but those studies, some of them have been refuted, so it's a little eh. But your body odor, how much carbon dioxide you exhale, really? the colors you wear, even your genetics and so much more can actually play a role. I don't even know where I stand on this anymore. Is it fact or fiction? No, it's, it's, it's a, a fact. fact. Okay, yes. good. okay, okay. It is absolutely a fact. Yes, okay. you, are, you are not making this up. Your son is attracted to mosquitoes. I am too. I get really big welts. So what do we do bad. if you happen to be that type of person that attracts mosquitoes? So the biggest thing is mosquito repellent. Repellent. With DEET. D-E-T. You want to make sure that you're applying it appropriately. You can wear long clothes. If you're an adult, but not if you're a younger child. You're right. Thank not you very much. Children. You can't use it. Yep, yeah. yep. And there's instructions on the back about how to deal with children. But you got to also so use mosquito nets if you're traveling. If you're, you know what I mean. You got to be smart. Yeah. Cover yourself up. I have to. I carry mosquito repellent everywhere I go. We actually have uh, mosquito repellent clothing. Yeah. Like some shirts treated and things clothing. that treated Permethrin clothing, and it actually clothing. does work. Yes. Well, thank you. Coming up, we're going to dive into summer factor fiction, yeah. including a factor fiction about kids and pools. We'll be right back.